Okay, so we've got our hole here. Um, Doug, it's about 12 inches deep. I actually went a little deeper um, because I wanted to get into more of um, the color change um, coming out in a different B horizon that we have, basically. And so this is a 18 inch ruler. So I've gone almost 18 inches, about 17 inches um, deep into the hole. And what, what I pulled out here onto our um, trash bag or cardboard or whatever that you might have is kind of basically the profile. Um, and you can see how it kind of has some color change, especially down here. Down here in this horizon is much, there's like redder soil. It's gone through a redox. You're getting less gravel. Um, it's uh, got more of a sandier texture to it, finer texture. You can see how um it leaves a little bit on my fingers there and then we went up into you know very you know rocky we're pulling out bigger rocks than we were in the beginning this is um this is going to be a different type of b horizon um you can still see i'm pulling out roots here though and when you look we'll look back in the hole there um you'll see a lot of roots and stuff and then this is pretty much the same kind of b horizon here that goes Probably for um, most of the profile, I would say, because um, we only got into about an inch or so of that material below the B horizon below. But um, so this is probably about 12 inches of this type of horizon, this B horizon here. And then the A horizon was pretty, pretty weak, only probably an inch or so, but it was this material here where it's got a lot of fine roots um, and you can see it's got structure to it. It's holding together. Whereas this, you know, just, just crumbles. Um, so, uh, and then kind of mixed in, this is kind of a messy A horizon. Here's a nice chunk right here with some roots in it. Um, but above that, you've got, you know, your O horizon, which is pretty much your moss um your cones pieces of twig but you know this one here is covered in in soil and uh you can see i'm breaking it off of this twig here so um lots of action going on probably in that first inch to two inches of soil let's go back to the hole here so it's kind of a cloudy day you do need a little bit of light sometimes like i said and also some moisture to help the, the soil horizon color kind of pop. Um, move my wooden ruler there. I'm going to squirt some water here. Um, hopefully. Hmm. There we go. I'm going to squirt some water in there. Get a little moist. Um, and then I'm also going to use a flashlight now, which is going to be maybe a little awkward at first. And forgive me for this, but you can kind of see the color change there. You have that first kind of upper couple inches that's really dark. Um, that's your A horizon. And then you get into that kind of lighter brown um, B horizon. And then I don't know if you can see it very well, but once you get deep down into the hole there, of course there's stuff in there, um, you get into that, uh, that second B horizon. I'm going to clean out some of this stuff. Maybe you can see it.
um, so I don't know if it's coming out in this video, but uh, it does get kind of reddish down there. You know, I pulled it out on the on the profile here. You can see you've got that this redder color down below. A lot of redox reactions going on. You know, if we dug, you know, this is kind of why soil scientists uh, like to dig deeper holes. 12 inches really doesn't give you quite enough um, to kind of figure out what's going on uh, with the soil profile. That's why we, you know, some of those videos you've watched, you've seen the, 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 the pits are enormous. Of course, they're digging it with, uh, you know, usually an excavator or something. Um, and us, it's just a shovel. But this is what we have right now. Um, so then basically what I would do next um, is take a little, take my baggies and take a little sample from each of the horizons that I've designated out as different color, um, texture, structure, and so forth. Uh, including my O horizon, I would take a little bit of that as well. Even though we're not going to do texture on that, but it's just... Um, it's nice to have those those type of samples. If we were doing this more scientifically, we would do, you know, a certain amount of area um, of of the o surface of horizon or whatnot. Um, but you know, this is pretty basic stuff right now with using what we have. So we'll um, take those samples, label them, you know, a horizon b b one b two at this point. That's what I've got here. And then I'll take those back to the house and then try and see, you know, sieve them in a sieve or try and get rid of the larger particles that might be bigger than two millimeters, which is kind of tough for you guys to do at home. Sorry. But, um, but basically, yeah. Uh, so, um, that's pretty much kind of the lab you'd label those and then We'll go over uh, the the next part of doing the the texturing, um, you know, trying to make a ribbon. For the most part, we're not going to have a lot of clay soils. I can tell you right off the bat in this area, unless you go into some of the river valleys and get into some of those silty loams and you know Snoqualmie Valley or whatever. Um, if you know, you might be able to find some soils that are hydric uh, wetland soils that you can make um, some ribbons out of, but typically here the soils are poorly formed and very well drained with all these rocks and this crumbly kind of structure that um, you're not going to be able to make much of a ribbon, unfortunately. Um, so that's kind of the bummer about this. You know, we usually have a pretty good <clears throat> um, example of what clay clay soils are, which are not really typical in this region. And so you can make these huge long five inch ribbons or something with them. You know, here we're lucky to get three inch ribbons um, even out of um, some of our best soils. So um, I hope this was helpful. Um, I think I've covered just about everything and I think I'm ready to move on to the next hole. And that'll be up in the front of the house underneath some uh, maple uh, more of a hardwood type forest. So uh, we're going to move on right now. Thanks.